So molecules versus compounds. Well, when we look at molecules and compounds, molecules are kind of the overarching theme here. So we have our molecules and then we have our compounds. So compounds are just a type of molecule. So if every compound is going to be a molecule. So let's think about that. We have molecules, which are two or more elements. So things like O2, we have two oxygens chemically bonded, or H2O, where we have two hydrogens and an oxygen chemically bonded, or CaCl2. Those are molecules because there's two or more elements. For compounds, again, we have two or more elements, but this time it's two or more different elements. So we'll have something like CaCl2, we have calcium and chlorine, so those are different elements. So that makes it a compound, and it's also a molecule. And then HCl, we have a hydrogen and a chlorine, two different elements, that makes it a compound, and again, it's also a molecule. Let's try one. So pause if you need to think about it. So for CH4, we have carbon and four hydrogens. So we have more than two elements, that makes it a molecule but they're also different, so it's a compound as well. Something like P4, we have four phosphorus atoms chemically bonded, so two or more elements gives you a molecule, but in this case, they're all the same, so we don't have different elements, therefore, it can't be a compound. P4 is just a molecule. One last one here, calcium sulfate, we have calcium, sulfur, and four oxygens. So we have more than two elements chemically bonded. That's a molecule. And then they're different. We have the calcium, sulfur, and oxygen. So it's also a compound. This is Dr. B with the molecules versus compounds. And thanks for watching.